I am here with you guys today to share um, Trader Joe's haul. I have not done a haul with you guys from Trader Joe's in so long. So I figured, you know what? I got a couple of bags in, so it's a perfect time to share with you guys, right? Um, some of these are for my kids. <laughs> And then some of them is for me. I am doing the um, the lazy keto diet because one, I really need to. So there are some items that I love to get over at Trader Joe's so that um, I can stay on track of my um, my keto, keto diet journey. All right, here we go. Okay, friends, so we have actually four huge bags. So right here, all these items. And I am outside because we are, um, we are tiling our kitchen. Um, backsplash so there's a lot of stuff um, all over the um, all over the kitchen and plus it's dark always dark in there so I figured I'd take you guys out here really quick let's go st um, get started with the first bag okay friends so this is the first bag uh, from my uh, my four bags and just to let you guys know if you're new here I do get a lot of my staples uh, over at Trader Joe's. I do have my basic staples of my pantry, my freezer, my refrigerator, my spices kind of thing. And I only get that over at Trader Joe's because I love the flavor, I love the taste, and then also I love the price. Um, the kids love these um, granola bars, peanut butter, and ch um, nutty chocolate. Um, Danielle can't have nuts, so I'm very picky of um, the granola bars because sometimes it has hidden um, traces of nuts in there that she could be allergic to, and this one always works out for me. Okay, I got that. And then I do have an apple tree, and it is blossoming with a whole bunch of apples. I cannot wait to start making apple pie, um, apple fritters, or apple pockets. And my go-to um, pie crust is over at Trader Joe's pie crust this contains two of them i like this because of the consistency there's been other pie crust that i um i get if i can't make it to the um, trader joe's and i feel like it's like um it's tough uh it seems like it's been there a while kind of thing i don't know i just prefer this one i really this is like my really go-to eggs because i am on the keto um keto diet i cannot do full keto so i do like the lazy keto but i am so egged out but uh, I always get some eggs, and this is the eggs that I get over at Trader Joe's, the Cherry Lane. And then speaking of eggs, so this is everything but the Bagel Sesame Season Blend. Um, it is with uh, sea salt, garlic, and onion, and I believe this is zero carbs. Yep, zero carbs. So just to let you guys know, with keto, you just got to watch your carbs and your sugar. Everything else is like, you know, you're, you're good to go. As far as I know, I'm, I'm just starting out. But a quarter of a teaspoon is zero carbs. And I put this over my eggs. And it just gives it that nice crunch um, to it. It has garlic, onion, and then that flavor to it. It just makes it really good. And then also when I saute my spinach, um, my, my dark greens, I add this onto it uh, towards the end just to give it a little crunch, like I said. Kids love their spickless cookies. So we got two of those. And then... Um, the deli spicy brown mustard love that this one is also for me part of the keto one gram of carbs per one third cup serving so that's really good this one is really nice i bought this before um but i didn't do it to um for my keto it just adds a bit of a, a flavoring to it just some different kind of vegetables because i'm totally truly tired of like the, the typical um dark green so it just um adds a bit of a variety Avocados, I love my avocados, but I hate getting my avocados over at Costco because they're so huge and they ripen all at the same time. So I love these over at Trader Joe's. I believe this is like $3.29, but there's six of them and they're the teeny tiny avocados. They're a perfect one serving. Actually, I can even share that. And then sliced black olives, this is for me. This is, total carbs is one gram per two tablespoons. So I kind of like to sprinkle this onto my salad a little bit, just slice it up, add that to my salad and um, gives it a good flavor. The kids love this, I love this. Trader Joe's Unsweetened Organic Asia Puree. Is it called Asia? I always pronounce it Asia. Um, puree packets. And there's four of them in here. I, I feel like they're like $4. And so, so the kids love this into their smoothies, but I also like to, to have this over um, like my, my fruits. Um, if I have, if I have a Greek um, non-fat Greek yogurt, I'll add that in there, get a little bit of the packet and um, 
get like maybe a quarter because I believe one packet is how many carbs? Six grams of carbs. So it's not bad when you're getting just a little bit. Flour tortillas, the kids love to make their quesadillas. So let me go ahead and grab my other bag. All right, okay, so I am on to my second bag. We got some fancy shredded uh, Mexican blend. This is for their um, quesadilla, and it's also for me over my eggs um, when I'm having it for breakfast. Um, it's, it's a nice um, texture. It's nice and um, thin, so they have another cheese over Trader Joe's that's got a, you know, it's, it's a bit more thicker. And this one is total carbs, one gram. So with keto diet, you go through a lot of cheese, a lot of cream cheese, a lot of like fattening stuff, but yet low on carbs. Okay, so the kids love to get this, have um, started to love this during the summer of getting the plain pizza dough ready to bake. So they have a, a couple of varieties of different uh, pizza dough. So it's nice because it allows the kids to just make their own pizza, get them into the kitchen. My kids, my three big kids, even the little Danica, she's almost four. She loves to do it. So she's been um, having fun with that. And then I got some pizza sauce to go with it. So easy peasy for them. And then for their pizza, it's just the cheese that I just showed you. And then they like it with um, pepperoni. So we got some of this gourmet pepperoni to put onto their pizza. So I believe this was like $2.50, $2.49. And then this one is so cheap, a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine for this ready to make um, pizza dough. Okay, so for me, part of my keto, um, the other pepperoni is for myself. So I, I've been eating a lot of meat. So I like to have these little simple um, like deli meat. Um, I bought a whole bunch of cheese over at the commissary. Then I just put a cheese slice on top of that and then I'm good to go as far as like a quick lunch or um, my go-to snack. Also deli meat because deli meats are one, grams of, one gram of carbo for this one. So my go-to is the smoked turkey breast. And then this one is the oven roasted turkey breast. So we really like that flavor. And then for the salad dressing so this time i chose the cilantro salad dressing i've had this plenty of times i love it it's um total carbs is two grams and you can't beat that so i add that onto my uh, my salads Got that one and then the kids love this toasted coconut pancake mix you just add water sometimes i add milk for a bit more flavor this one is 40 grams of carbo <laughs> carbohydrates so that's just for the kids. And then I got this one for the kids too. It's the organic low fat yogurt. Um, is that Squishers? Squishers? I love the font, but can barely read it. And four cherry, four cherry plus four berry. So never tried this before. Hopefully that they like it, but just out of curiosity, I wonder what the carbs is. 10 grams of um, carb, but it's the sugar I bet. Eight grams of sugar, not bad for, for their snack. Okay, so I believe these are all mine. Okay, so here's my salad mix, and of course, um, I share with the kids. But I like to get this one, the baby spring mix. I believe this is like just $1.99, simple, easy. Okay, friends, with keto, you eat a lot of broccoli, but I don't like broccoli. I do like, though, is the organic baby broccoli from Trader Joe's. Um, this one I'll eat, but I don't like to eat the, um, the broccoli um, flower, is it flower wet, flower let kind of thing. So I just steam this. Um, add some of that um, seasoning that I just showed you guys of the everything but the bagel seasoning really good and then so, um, Sprinkle some olive oil in there Good to go. And this is the same thing I do too with this one is this is the shishito peppers This is sweet Sweet peppers not sometimes not too sweet just a little bit of you know, kick to it Carbohydrates is three grams for seven peppers. You cannot beat that So then again, I just steam this a quick steam sprinkle some seasoning in there okay for keto diet we can have berries we can have blackberries raspberries strawberries and blueberries so got this um over trader joe's $2.99 cream cheese you can have cream cheese with the keto diet this is two grams of fat per three tablespoon i got some organic sour cream and organic sour cream is um two grams and two grams of sugar two grams of carb per two tablespoons i don't know why i'm showing you guys the carbs but just in case you're doing keto along 
um, as well. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Coconut creamer, I have been um, I have been trying to get accustomed to my new ways of drinking my coffee, which is just um, coffee of my Keurig, and then I put strong, and then I use um, whipping cream. I don't use any sugars, any sweeteners, just whipping cream. So I wanted to try this one because I know that I can have coconut, and it says total carbs one gram per one tablespoon. So I'm gonna check this out. Okay. Jonathan already opened this. So this is the Vietnamese coffee flavored caramel. Um, we like this, this is a good treat, but of course I can't have it. I'm not even gonna look at the carbs on that one. But um, Jonathan picked that out, he loves that. So red wine and oil um, vinaigrette. This is a classic Italian dressing. And I get this because the girls like this, but carbs, oh, zero carbs, pretty good. Okay, so that is for me as well. Okay, balsamic vinegar. Um, I like this, I've gotten this before. So carbs on this one is six grams. And I just, I use this to add a bit more flavoring onto, um, onto my meals. You can put this into everything. You can put this onto salads or your vegetables or even your meat. Like um, sometimes I'm just meat out because I have to get a lot of protein into my, um, into my keto. So I just sprinkle a little bit of this and then it just gives it a little bit of a kick in flavor. Okay, this section is just for my kids, but I wanted to show you guys, so I went to the fridge. So these are the kind of cheese that I got over at my commissary. So they have the Kobe pepper jack, which is really nice, not too spicy. And then I got the herb and garlic jack. That one I don't think I opened yet. Nope, not yet. This is the tomato and basil um, jack. And what I do is just I get my deli meat, um, whether it's this one or the pepperoni, and then I just... Um, get this like cut it in four and then I put um, one or two cheese per you know for deli meat and then I make a couple of that and put it into a nice plate serving so it makes me feel like I'm getting like a sophisticated um, snack so I wanted to show you guys that okay now for the kids they love pineapple juice over Trader Joe's I don't know what it is I'm always sharing this with my friends Trader Joe's is the only one out of all the grocery store that I can find um, pure pineapple juice into the refrigerated aisle. I know they sell the dolls in the little cans kind of thing or the big can But Trader Joe's is the only one that has just plain pineapple juice So I'm wondering how much carbs. I know this has a lot of sugar carbs is 30. Oh my gosh 30 grams and sugar is 26 grams. Okay, def definitely just for the kids on that one. So they also like these mini beef tacos I'm not even going to look at the carbs on that one. Danica loves these Hold the Cone. I believe this is just $2.99, so I always get a couple of that. Um, the girls love these um, Japanese-style fried rice. Again, these are my go-tos. These are my staples. So when the kids are hungry, they can easily cook that on their own. And then this one as well. Mandarin Orange Chicken. It is one of the number one top picks for Trader Joe's as far as like their uh, frozen food. This one, they said it's just similar to the Panda Express, and I agree with them. I love this. Okay, mac and cheese. Got three of this. This is the mac and cheese go-to for the kids. I actually like the flavor. I'm wondering how many carbs. 42! Oh my gosh, 42 grams of carbs. I cannot believe that. Okay, so this one, these two are mine. So I love to use this one, um, the cocoa powder unsweetened and look at the carbs three grams of carbs for one tablespoon which is pretty a lot what is the sugar no sugar but you know what when you're making a dessert especially for keto so what i do i've made this once um i use um whipping cream what is this one um, total carb zero so this is the whipping cream from uh trader joe's and then it is um zero grams of carbs so you do a whipping cream you do cream cheese you can do um sprinkle it with um cocoa powder and then i use like a stevia sugar um not the regular sugar whatever sugar you you choose um not sugar but sugar alternative and then you got yourself um some nice uh, dessert because sometimes i do want the the taste of the chocolate so i get this or like a dark chocolate as well all right let's go on to our last bag Okay, we are down to our last bag and this one is a super um, super quick one that I'm gonna go through so this section is for the kids so Jonathan was with me he picked out the cinnamon sugar this is perfect if you have little ones 
So I got this one for the kids. Um, cinnamon sugar muffin and baking mix. I love getting these kind of box um, treats for the kids because the instructions is super um, super easy for the kids to follow. So I got that one. I think I bought that one before. Um, I know they like that one. Okay, so then I got this one organic pasta for the kids to make so they can easily get this. Um, they can easily get it with the marinara sauce, organic, and then make their own like little zeti, zeti pasta, put some cheese on it, they're good to go. Uh, refried pinto beans, got this for the kids as well, organic, let me just, carbs, 28 grams of carbs, oh my goodness. I used to think, like doing other diets, I used to think that like, you know, organic black beans is like really good for you and I can really overdo my beans, but look, 20 grams for half a cup, that's a lot of carbs. Okay. So those are for the kids and this is for me. So I got coconut cream, organic coconut cream. I This is like $2 over at Trader Joe's. And total carbs is one gram for two tablespoons. So um, I use this in a lot of ways. Like for instance, like be my veggies. If sometimes if I'm so tired of my veggies of just sauteing with olive oil or, um, or steaming, um, if you saute it with olive oil, you put this towards the end, you got yourself a little creamy, um, creamy veggie. That's like an Asian flair to it. So I got that. And then finally used up all my organic virgin coconut oil. I use this for so many things. I have a video here of like what I use it for my, um, for my um, like personal hygiene kind of thing. Um, I have one upstairs into the bathroom. I have one in the pantry. So one is designated for, for the other. I use this to soften up my, um, as far as the, the personal hygiene, I use this to soften up my hair. I do like a hot oil treatment uh, with it. I do it for my, as a lotion for my skin when the kids like have bad um, eczema. I know some people can't use um, uh, coconut, um, coconut oil for their eczema because they say they flares up. Well, that's not how it is with my kids. It doesn't make them flare up. So um, I use this as well. So it's not always the, the medicine, but then also for your, um, for your feet, um, after a shower, put some of the coconut oil onto your feet, put socks over it, go to sleep. And the next time, the next morning when you wake up, oh my gosh, your feet is so soft and um, so great that you could actually like slide onto your floor, literally. Okay, so, but for the kitchen wise, I use it for everything. And then I like to use the minced garlic over at Trader Joe's. What is the carbs on this? Total carbs, one gram. Um, easy peasy, so I don't, I don't, I hate mincing um, garlic. I hate um, peeling garlic and then just squishing it because all the peels start coming off. I don't know, one of my pet peeves, I guess. Okay, so I'm trying this. I've just been really not having sugar, but when I do bake, like the, um, the one that I told you guys about with the whipping cream and the cream cheese, you can put, with that you can put um, chocolate shavings or the cocoa powder, but you can put also like a, pumpkin puree like a tablespoon or two of the pumpkin puree with apple spice for the fall um, put some of this as a sugar alternative whipping cream um, and the whipping cream and then the cream cheese that's your dessert really really good okay I bought this this time which is the pack of lime I think this is like a dollar 99 or maybe two dollars but I like to just squeeze lime onto my water that makes me drink a lot more water um, put slices of lime, lime in there into my water as well but also I like to squeeze the lime onto my salad with just olive oil or avocado oil and I'm kind of good to go so like that and then I'm gonna use up all of that and then also I use it as like a marinade for my um, my chicken chicken tenders or anything that I, I grill and then you guys know no, you guys know that I love my wasabi roasted seaweed snack so I was looking at Trader Joe's because I haven't bought this in a while and I'm like what is the carbs one gram for what half a package one gram for half a package you cannot beat that oh my gosh so this is a perfect um, snack it gives you one gram of carbs for half the packet couldn't believe that so I got two of those all right friends that's it that's it that's all i got for my trader joe's i hope you guys enjoyed my trader joe's i shared with you guys the carbs and then some of the sugar intake just um just for those that's watching that wants to do the keto diet or are doing the keto diet um, i'm gonna add into the description of um, keto friendly as well this is part of my family meal and then part of uh, for myself uh to do this journey uh of um taking care of my body i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i do appreciate you guys visiting a 
simply simple life mahalo